Hey, hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day today. All right, guys, so I'm coming to you today. We explored Act 6. Um, we got it done. We got our rewards. Uh, we, we didn't have much fun in Act 6, but uh, I had actually recorded the final boss fight and the rewards opening. And, well, when I say I recorded it, I thought I had recorded it. Uh, because apparently if you get low battery while you're doing screen record, um, yeah, it shuts off your screen recording. So I didn't get any of it. Uh, so we're just going to kind of go through what I got and kind of my thoughts and, and everything on X6, to be honest with you. Um, so the rewards you get for the exploration are obviously, you know, the big ones are the Tier 5 Catalyst, the Six Star Nexus, uh, the Six Star Awakening Gym, and uh, a couple, you get some good resources out of it. You also get, a, you know, a Fragment Class Catalyst, some Six Star Shards, some Five Star Shards, and about 2.5 million gold. So, I spent roughly on Act 6.2 to Act 6.4 roughly about 18,000 units. Uh, it may be a little, it's give or take a thousand units. It could be as high as 19,000, could be as, as low as 17,000. But 18,000 units is what it took me to get a completion and a full exploration of 6.2, 6.3, and 6.4. That's a little ridiculous in my opinion. Um... The rewards, and once again, sorry for y'all not getting to see any openings, but I wanted anything but what I got. So what I mean by that is, is when we go to my inventory, you're going to see that I got a Mystic Tier 5 Catalyst. And that was a big bummer for me. Uh, so I was a little, I was not a little, I was very salty about that. Very upset. Uh, when 18,000 units to get a V1 catalyst I didn't need. And what I mean by that is I don't have a Dr. Doom and uh, or a long shot as a six star. But I'm going to kind of go through and show you who I have as six starts so you can see in each class who I could have used in each class. So... Uh, you know, starting with science, I have three really good options. Hulk, Cap, and Thing. In skill, I had Stealthy, Aegon. For Mutant, I had Domino, Havoc, Namor. For Cosmic, I had Captain Marvel, Corvus, Venom. For Tech, I had Ghost, I had Warlock, I had Sentinel. And then when we get to Mystic, it's kind of the meme tier Mystics. Now, the only one you might would want to use this on would be Morningstar, but I don't, I don't really use her that much. I used her for really the champion fight, and really Symbiote Supreme still did a better job. But I'm missing the majority of quote unquote god tier Mystic champions. So Sorcerer Supreme. Symbiote Supreme, Longshot, uh, Doctor Doom, Black Widow, Clairvoyant. So I literally got the one catalyst I didn't need. Uh, the other thing I got was the Science Awakening Gem for a six star. And I'm heavily contemplating using that on Void. Uh, that was something I could use. So I, because I got that Mystic catalyst i went for doom in the featured crystals and i tried to open two featured six star crystals i'm going to show you what two champions i got out of that so the first champ and i'm pretty sure i might i could possibly be the only person to have these champions back to back i don't there probably are some people that have it but out of the featured crystal my first pull my very first pull ladies and gentlemen was a six star Falcon. Six star Falcon. That was my pull. That was my first pull out of the feature. Spent 15,000 six star shards 
on Falcon. My next six star featured pool was the beast of a Hulk Vegas gambling person himself. The mob boss Hulk, Mr. Joe Fix It. So I got pretty agitated there too. Um, I did open my Nexus Six Star Crystal as soon as Doom came to the basic pool. Uh, was not fortunate enough to get Doom. That I did do pretty good there. I got to dupe my Domino, so that was that was a plus, but still not what I'm looking for. I was looking for that Mystic Champion to be the game changer. So <clears throat> I was a little upset with the rewards. The good thing that came about this is we got to take a lot of six stars up to rank two. That was the fun part, and I'm going to kind of go over who we took up. We took up Hulk Ragnarok. We took up Domino. We took up Captain Marvel Movie. We took up Sentinel. We took up Havoc, and we took up Venom. I am very pleased with my six-star roster. There's a few more. I had some tough decisions down at the bottom. I actually wanted to take up Cap. I wanted to take up Namor. I wanted to take up Darkhawk, Corvus, Thing, Void, Killmonger. So there was, there was plenty of people I actually wanted to take up and just ran out of resources. Mainly Tier 5 Basics. I have a massive overflow of Tier 2 Alphas at the moment. So I can't really complain too much, to be honest with you, because... Most people would love a six-star roster. It's just funny to me that the one catalyst I didn't need was the one I got. So, <clears throat> what are my plans going forward is kind of, I guess what we would say is the next question. And my plans going forward are... I am still complete, competing in Alliance War and Alliance Quest. Uh, we are a Platinum 4 Alliance, and we're a top 200 AQ uh, running map 6 five days a week. I know everybody's been talking about burnout, and we're seeing plenty of people leave the game. And to be honest, I am feeling that a little bit myself because I have been doing this since 2014. So, and I've watched a couple of the other YouTubers videos like ILAC and, and a few others and how they're not getting bored and that, you know, the people that just spin, spin, spin and get through the content in the first, I, I can't disagree with ILAC on that. I, I he's completely correct. Uh, the people who are spending, 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 getting through the content, you know, in a day or two or, or, you know, doing those legends runs and they probably are getting bored. What I am getting, um, I guess, a little more exhausted about is the amount of chance there is with this game. That's what makes it fun, but also at times makes it very difficult. And I really like what Prof Hoff has been saying about, you know, more choice for 2020. Um, and I agree with that. I really like that idea coming from Prof. So that's kind of my X6 run. It cost me 18,000 units. I'm not the most patient person in the world. Uh, we started this X6 exploration journey, I think back in December or November. Uh, and we got it, I got it done about two or three weeks ago and just haven't, haven't wanted to post because, well, mainly number one, I messed up on my my uh, recording of my fight. I am going to put out some solos here in the next uh, few weeks of Act 6 boss solos that I was able to get. And hopefully that can help some of you in your in your quest uh, to uh, explore Act 6. But overall, guys, 18,000 units. Um, so right now what we're doing, we're, we're grinding. Uh, this week we grinded about 800 units. And uh, I had to, I spent a few on energy revives, but we're going to try to grind about 800 units to 1,000 units a week getting ready for Abyss of Legends. We are going to take our time with Abyss of Legends, and we are going to live stream Abyss of Legends. 
Uh, I will be unable to live stream Abyss of Legends till after July 15th because of the tax deadline being extended to July 15th. So my, my work days have actually been extended, whereas normally I would be getting a break right about now. So other than that, guys, that's our next plan. Um, you know, I, I wanted to distance myself a little bit from the game. Um, mainly because my last rant, uh, was pretty, a lot of people liked it, but I don't like being that negative person. So I just kind of had to step away. And especially after, you know, after what I got from the act six rewards, it was, uh, it was not, I wasn't happy. So, <clears throat> Yeah, guys, that's where we're at. We're going to start grinding for Abyss. And uh, we're going to finish up this season of AW. And uh, see where we stand. And when July 4th comes around, I don't know if the offers are based on shards. I probably won't buy any. Uh, if they're based on rank up materials, I probably will buy some. I, I just don't like the chance. If we can get some six-star Nexus crystals in there, that'll make me happy. But um, I just... I, I'm just looking for rank-up materials now to help me in my Abyss um, run. I do have the Horsemen uh, stacked up and ready to go. So we, we got our people ready. Um, as you can tell, we have Dr. Doom... We have Aegon, we have Quake, we have Nick Fury, and we have uh, Symbiote Supreme, or uh, what's the other one? Uh, oh, sorry, Human Torch. We have all of those guys ranked up and ready to go. We are going to start practicing that first thing fight. That way I don't make a fool of myself uh, on live stream. But, um, yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Uh, please hit me up online. Uh, my line ID, my Discord, my Twitter, everything is down in the description. Please hit me up. Please leave a like on this video uh, and leave a comment. All of that stuff helps out the channel. We're going to get back to doing some uh, routine live streams, even if it's just grinding arena uh, in preparation for Abyss, guys. So thank you so much. I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. And I hope that your Marvel Contest of Champions run is... Uh, going well right now i don't want to see this game go away i really enjoy it um so we'll see what the future holds for it so thank you guys so much i appreciate it much love have a blessed one peace